When you're playing bass lines, one of the things you can use is scale motion. So for example, this is an example. Right, but you, you don't have to repeat it. Like if you have four measures of B flat seven, you can do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You know, you can do the whole scale, even if it lasts over two measures. Um, and that's scale motion. Then we have arpeggio motion. examples what you could do with arpeggio motion or, or core tone motion then we have the dominant bebop scale so the the dominant scale as you know is the bebop scale includes the major seven so half step between there so it makes makes it rhythmically wind up in a different place which is interesting and you can use that uh, dominant bebop scale in your bass lines too Okay, then there's the idea of using chromaticism. So let's say I got one measure of B flat and then my next measure is E flat. So my scale tones are one, two, three, four. Oh, I got to E flat too early. I need one more note before I get to E flat. So I have two options. I can use some chromatic notes. You know, I can use B natural or C sharp. I'm gonna use C sharp. And that sounds pretty good. So there's a, a, you know, an option using chromaticism. Then another really cool thing to use in bass lines is just chromatic approaching the notes. You know? So for example, in this example, I'm using only the root and the fifth of B flat. And then you can do that with the whole, with all the chords. So, and I can approach each note from below, a half step below. the notes from above, half step above. And uh, so all of these different things you can throw in and mix it all up. I remember when I was first learning how to do bass lines, I would, my teacher would have me ri actually write out in the bass clef all quarter notes and just write out, you know, a bunch of different choruses of bass lines and try to compose some cool sounding bass lines, you know, and uh, finally, with the uh, bass lines, is adding some rhythm to them. There's lots of different rhythms you can add to these bass lines other than just quarter notes, but one of the ones you can start working on is just the, uh, the two eighth notes at the beginning. So, so instead of going one, two, three, four, you can go one, eight, 